Bill here from Maple Leaf Enterprises with your DBA tip of the day. DBA tip of the day is going to be adding supplemental logging and forced logging on the database level. First and foremost, we need to log in. Uh, now you can either log in as the Golden Gate user or the Oracle user, any user that has access to the system. So it's going to be, you're going to want it to be at least uh, the system user oops, of your database privilege wise. But it is going to be want to be a user who does have uh, the alter system privilege. So whoever that is, it's usually a DBA. Uh, so anyway, log into your system. Um, you're going to want to go into SQL Plus. I'm just going to go in as SysDBA here. Uh, and then you're going to want to issue this query. from V$ dollar database. I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. All right, and then when this returns, if both of these are no, you're going to want to issue, firstly, to enable supplemental logging, you're going to want to run this command. Okay. Alter database, add supplemental log data. And then you're going to want to run this command. All right. And then you're going to want to go ahead and run this command again just to make sure everything is turned on. And both of these should now return yes. Okay. And that would mean that your supplemental log logging is enabled and your forced logging is enabled. And this will give us the ability to activate Golden Gate in the proper fashion. And Golden Gate will actually be able to uh, have access to that supplemental log data. Now, as I always say, when you know how to turn something on, you need to turn it off. And you need to know how to turn it off. So uh, in order to turn this supplemental logging off, it's pretty easy. It's a drop statement. You're just going to want to issue this command. Right? Alter database, drop supplemental log data. Now, I'm not, I would not recommend doing this on a database where Golden Gate is currently active or there's something enabled like streams or uh, any type of queuing that are, is using those supplemental logs because it will error out and say it's unable to drop it. Uh, so just make sure that you just don't go and do this. Um, and then this will alter our database. And then it's to And that's how oops, it's not froze. <laughs> okay, and that's how you disable uh, force logging. So now we enabled and we disabled it. And so now if we run that command again, and you could easily create some scripts, and I do have scripts well, for all this, that would be my recommendation. Um, we're back to no and no. Okay, uh, I would recommend that you do write a couple of scripts for these that you have. Um, I use this one. This one actually is just, you know, my select supplemental log uh, data min force logging from VDollar database. Uh, and then this script actually is a little bit, I actually label it Oracle Golden Gate. And it gives me 
all the information I had just outlined on what to do. And I always like to do that inside any SQL script that makes changes to the database. Make sure you always put a little bit of information in there so that you do know what it is that it's doing uh, and what you're using it for. And then you can use this over and over again. So now I know if I want to use or enable supplemental logging, I can just go ahead and do this. And it's going to go in and bang. It's going to do exactly what I needed to do. So there you go. Supplemental logging, turning it on, turning it off, write a couple of scripts. You can make this real slick too if you want. You can actually make these echo commands instead so that they return to the screen with like a pause. You know, if you want to continue, hit enter. If you don't, you know, hit control C so you don't actually make these changes. You know, you can make this a pretty slick script if you have the time. Um, normally, you don't really need to do that, but uh, sometimes you do. If you're going to be handing this over to like an operations staff, uh, there probably would be a better idea for you to do that. Write some commands in here so that they'd be able to quit out and they wouldn't actually be able to do this unless it's something they truly wanted to do. So there you go. Uh, supplemental enforced logging, turning it on and turning it off. So there is your DBA tip of the day. I hope this helps. And again, this is just another step in this Golden Gate overall process that we are going through in getting the system ready for Golden Gate install. Hope this helps. Have a great day and take care.